is Alexis. I am a sophomore at Gothenburg High School. That's right, buddy. And this is my poem, Passing on Adventure. It's late June, early summer. I stumble along on elephant feet, too big for my sick legs, arms encircling a stuff striped cat, a weird looking cat with mismatched eyes and a crooked tail. Our group moves slowly but surely forward along the sidewalk like a herd of buffalo across the ancient Nebraskan plains, meandering to the library across the street, a place I went once, long ago, with my mother. We lost ourselves there, tripped through the looking glass into off-kilter alternate realities, our crumb trail home devoured by the beaks of bluebirds, getting hopelessly lost in the moon this night. We spun through the whirlwind over the dusty plains of Kansas, seeing the rusted, silent, tin man on our way. We chased fantasies there, joined Bilbo and his dwarven brethren on their quest to the lonely mountain, chased the fairies hidden among the shelves and flitting through the darkest depths of our souls. We soaked up, guilt, we soaked up words sewn together with delicate threads and conjoined like long lost lovers between soft leather bindings. Trees sprouted skywards there, erupting into magnificent groves, apples ripening in the summer heat, an Eden smelling of the pose and poetry trapped in our childhood minds. We have entered the wardrobe, trailed our hands over the snow-covered pines lining the way to Narnia, the lamppost waiting patiently at the far end. Stars aligned themselves there, erecting constellations from the ethereal light of ancient spirits. Orion with belt and bow, Perseus sweeping through the night on the back of trusty Pegasus. We let the second star to the right guide us to Neverland, an island found only in dreams, to visit Peter. We found ourselves there, snapped back to find ourselves in a familiar armchair, escaped from the witch's house of sweets through the moonlit forest and back into the arms of our father. We regain consciousness surrounded by our own Aunt Hem and Uncle Henry, exclaiming, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. Your child will come to this place as we have, clutching tightly the strong hand of a loving parent, you, letting all they have seen here lead them into a future as bright as the sun. Pass the next chapter unto your child, letting them learn to run and stumble so that they slip on the elephant feet, too big for their sick legs, and the cat they cherish slips and lands safely in the grass. Woo!